and I'm part of MIT iGEM 2015. iGEM is an international synthetic biology competition, and it's an indispensable program that opens up the world of synthetic biology and research to students that are motivated and curious everywhere. Synthetic biology is the building of biological systems using smaller abstracted parts. We take genes and other modular components and we plug them into a chest of virtues, like E. coli, yeast, what have you. The new circuits that we build enable us to build chassis that can respond to stimuli in whatever way we want. So SynBio helps us make chassis that can make new medicines, that can be sensors, that can glow in the dark, or anything else. And we're at MIT Okay, hi, so my name is Ron Weiss. I'm a professor in biological engineering. And I'm Brian Teague. I'm a postdoc in Professor Weiss's lab, and I am the head advisor, I yep. think, of the iGEM team this year. Yep. A lot of times when you're doing a project in class, you'll get some handbook or some list of instruction. In our project, we just sort of get some bacteria and say, we want to produce some substrate, something. Finally, I narrowed it down to one bacteria, the C. Hutchinson, Cytophaga Hutchinsoni. Um, and then we just ordered it and like a week later it arrived and just like that we then looked at it under a microscope and we saw these little things swimming around. When I first got in the lab I was probably absolutely useless and dropping things and messing things up. But I never really did any biology, biology lab work before or even biology much more advanced than middle school level. I'd like to think that I've really grown from that and I've gotten a little bit better in the lab and I've learned a lot about the setbacks there can be and to not be frustrated when you fail. I mean, they walk out of this program fully functional scientists yeah. and that is, well first it's incredibly gratifying yeah. but for me at least that's the goal. We've been able to meet with MIT professors, industry specialists, um, we have a couple advisors who are grad students and postdocs. I really don't like speaking in front of people and I'm quite shy normally, but I really like running meetings. I like planning things out and I think I've grown in that way and it's something that I might not have done, an opportunity I might not have had if it wasn't for IGEM. Uh, many expenses. I mean, they, they certainly start with uh, salaries. Uh, material supplies tend to be expensive just to do all the laboratory experiments, uh, to make DNA, to put that DNA into cells, then to observe what's going on when, when the cells receive your DNA. So it ends up being about $80,000 a year. It's generally what we budget. When you get to do something with iChip, everything you're doing is cutting edge. Everything you're doing is, there's no real rule book written about it. And it's up to you to look at what's been done before and say, what's the next logical step? How can we further scientific knowledge by doing simple experiments in the time of the summer?